I am a father, I am a father of daughters, and if we all lived together in Scotland, I'd be quite concerned for their safety right now. In fact, I would seriously consider moving down to England. Because what Nicola Sturgeon and the Scottish Nationalist Party have done, they have literally sold women down the river. And by women, I mean adult human females. You see, what they've done is they've just passed a bill in the Scottish Parliament, which means that men can self-identify as women without going through the rigorous psychological and medical procedures, where before you had to live as your chosen gender for a few years and be diagnosed with gender dysphoria. And that's all out the window. So now you have to live as your chosen gender for a matter of weeks and then self-ID, just like that. You can do it yourself. And I believe this is dangerous to women because there are men out there. They are dangerous men and women are their victims. They will abuse this system now and they have before anyway in order to get closer to their prey. And just to be clear, not every person who transitions gender is a sexual predator. But these people do exist. And this bill in the Scottish Parliament has given them licence to enter women's only spaces and get their hands on them. They can enter women's toilets, women's changing rooms, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Because they are now protected by the insanely woke Scottish National Party uh, government up there. It's crazy, it's insane... And I do worry for women up in Scotland, I really do. And there have been cases in the Scottish, in fact, the British criminal system all over this island, of perverted men who are in the prison system uh, and they change their genders in order to get to a cushier female prison. And once there, they victimise women there as well. But for some reason, these fantasists' rights have been made priority and it's shameful. I mean, sod living in Scotland anyway, especially under the rule of the SNP, because they've taken away their freedom of speech, thanks to another insane law called the hate speech law up there, where you have to even be careful what you say under your own roof, under penalty of a huge massive fine, and up to seven years in prison if you offend someone. And you can say something completely innocent, but if someone's offended, then the Scottish police will come and get you and ruin your life. It's happened already. So at the next general election, for the sake of adult female humans and freedom-loving Scots, I hope and pray they vote out this vile political party, this Marxist, destructive body of lunatics who are uh, dismantling Scotland brick by brick, as far as I'm concerned. The SNP is a cancer. Nicola Sturgeon is the most dangerous politician in Britain. Detrimental not only to Britain but to our own people. So there we go. I am all for women's rights, but it's all been thrown away now, thrown to the wind, under the bus, fed to the wolves by the SNP to appease a ridiculously small margin demographic who've had way too much clout uh, within the British political system as far as I'm concerned. So there we go. That's my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.